Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how to use a torrent file due to high demand and high request. So, first of all, you want to download this torrent client called BitTorrent. This allows you to use any torrent file you've downloaded and enable it and then you can download any sort of file that's attached to that torrent. So you just hit this big button over here, download the torrent based on your operating system once you're done that you install it and then you have to find a torrent search engine such as torrents.eu this is what I like to use it's my personal favorite because it scans the entire uh, site for all the torrents you need and you can see over here how many pages they have and how many active torrents so for example I'm just gonna type in a movie name and then you're gonna come up with a list this list will show you all the possible torrents you can download based on the keyword and you will see over here how big the torrent is it's gonna show you the size over here you're gonna see how many seeds it has basically what it means by seeds is the amount of people that are actually lending or sending out the program file the more seeds you have the faster you're gonna download it the faster your rate will be and this is just the amount of leechers you have, meaning the people trying to download the file with you. Basically what you do is you click on the file and then you're going to come up with another list. It's going to take you to the subcategories. These are all, all the other sites you can use to acquire this torrent. I like to use Pirate Bay because it's simple, doesn't have annoying ads. But it sometimes takes a while to load because it has a lot of traffic. So my second choice is BT Junkie. Alright, once the site loads, you just hit the download torrent button over here. You can read the comments over here to check if anybody had any problems with the torrent or not. And you can make your choice based on those opinions. Now once your torrent's downloaded, you just go to the folder. And pretty much open the file. Now it's going to ask you what, kind, what files you want to download. You can read the file since I'm downloading a movie, it's the AVI, so I want this file, and that that's just the way, so I'll, I'm just gonna uncheck that. And you just hit OK. Now you can see over here the file's being downloaded. Over here's how much the file is. Over here is your download speed. You can see I already have Duke Nukem going. And if you just click on the file, it shows you all the information you have, so your how long you've been using the torrent, how much you've downloaded, your download speed, the download limit, all of that stuff. You can customize your torrents based on all of this. You can even go to auto shutdown and set one of these so when the torrent's completed it will shut down automatically. It's, it's a great tool to use if you're just going to leave your computer on at night. And you can just add torrents through here as well but the easiest way to do it is download the torrent and just double click it. It will automatically link it to this file and open it through BitTorrent. Once you're done that, pretty much right click open containing folder and your movie should be there or whatever you've downloaded. So it should be in your download folders like that. Thank you for watching. If you have any other requests, please leave them in the comment section below. For more videos like this, please rate, comment, and subscribe.